Okay, looks like we made it to uh, Team Odeus. He looks like he's going to be tough. He's pretty massive. Okay, let's check out his skills. Alright, so first one, Ref of Revenge. He gets some buffs. Let's prevent those with Vorash. Alright, deals physical damage to enemies within range. So, I'm going to guess it's either going to be a 9x9 or a Diamond. So, uh, I'm going to use the positioning probably like I do for the Curse of Venom, if that's the case. That way only one of my guys gets hit. And then his ultimate, a AOE. Okay. So this is the positioning that I guess I'll go with. This is what I use for Curse of Venom. Because when he moves up, if Team Ideas has a diamond, right, it's going to be centered probably on Horus. So it's going to go across here, then these, and then that block. So it's going to hit here, or all these, these three, and here. So if Horus is up here, everybody else should be safe. That's my prediction for this guy. So Vorish is going to use his chance to remove buffs, and I'm going to time this to go off right before he casts his buffs to prevent them. Build him nice and tanky. I'm going to time my shield for his ultimate, and I'm going to time her ultimate to reduce his damage right before he uses his ultimate as well. And it looks like he's on a 24 second cooldown window, so it's going to be pretty easy to time everything. Um, but it doesn't look like you could set a team in auto mode, unfortunate. I just would have used my Curse of Phantom setup, but it is what it is. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's slow it down for the first round. Just see when everything goes off. Actually, I could catch it. Okay, perfect. Let's block his thing. There's a meter he does not move. It's gonna be an easy fight. As long as you can prevent his damage, it'll be good. Alright, second ability, who's gonna get hit? It looks like just Horus got hit. Okay, so my prediction was right. Oh, never mind. Horus got hit. Hmm. I wonder how his ability is set up then. Doesn't really show. But either way, this actually is a pretty easy fight. Speed it up. Time Boris, use his ultimate to prevent him from getting his buffs. Ah, crap, I did it too early. Oh well. As long as he probably doesn't have his buffs, he shouldn't hit too hard. Hexandra doing healing. <laughs> and Boris is getting beat up. So I'm guessing he probably targets the weakest person on your team. That's, my, that's probably what's happening, I'm not too sure. Doesn't really explain or show. Ah, crap. Let's get this going. Well, snap. Guess as long as you're high enough level, this is going to be an easy fight. Okay, so his second ability hit Vorash and Horus. Okay. Not bad. And it looks like everybody in the back doesn't get hit by his other ability, only the ultimate. Alright, let's block his buffs. So this is kind of like the Grave of Curse. Just blocking damage and removing the buffs, so it's a pretty easy fight. The main benefit here is that he's on a 24 second skill cooldown. Not bad. Actually, let me take her and him off. There's Skull Vorash. I'm just going to speed through the rest of this because um, I don't think there's anything else to explain. It's a pretty easy fight. Thanks for watching. I never stop to see you cry. I never listen to you.